Okay, hello everybody. Today I've got an amp from a customer that is having problems with the reverb. So the complaint was that at lower levels the reverb works and it's just kind of soft, but as soon as you get up to a high enough level, the reverb starts singing and feeding back like crazy and will start squealing and squelching as well. So I've already done some troubleshooting. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is, but we're going to go through and show you that problem first and then we will um, see if this fix that I think will be the fix will work. So uh, first off, we will plug her in get uh hopefully a chance to reproduce this problem and then i will show you from there but uh, what i'm going to want to do is tilt this guy upright so we can see the inside so i'll get back with you in just a second when i'm done there so right now the amp's not exhibiting the behavior really uh, i've got the max reverb and you can hear it it's got reverb and it's not trying to feed back But I will show you what I did that reproduced the problem. I was tapping, I'm gonna set the guitar down because I've been told by others to never put your anything in the amp while holding a guitar because you're touching electrical things that can react back out. So we'll, we'll set that down. But ultimately, right here, and I may reproduce this and go deaf, but the problem was it sounded like the tube was harmonic, which is this tube here. Tapping it made all kinds of noise, it's still doing it somewhat. Kind of see here, I'm about singing, touching the wires and popping, see the noises? But the big thing that, that about deafened me was I tapped this resistor. And you hear that noise it's making? So this resistor, to me, looks like it has gone out. Anything touching this is very sensitive. This cap doesn't do it. Nothing else near it. Just these two turrets that are near this resistor. So this is a 56K resistor, and what my thought is here is I'm gonna take this 56K resistor out, replace it, and see if that makes this problem go away. I'll basically, one of the things I'll probably try first is just to re turn this off and reflow these solder joints, but I don't think it's the joints because it's the, if you push, the resistor makes all kinds of noises, and that's a sign that this resistor is a carbon, I think these are carbon films, they should be, that's the right color. But some of the carbon may be kind of cracking and having problems, so that's arcing between the carbon pieces. So electricity still flows, but it causes it to be microphonic and have a lot of problems if I understand these kind of problems correctly. So I'll try and reflow it really quickly. If that doesn't do it, then I will uh, try and remove that resistor and place it with a new resistor and see if that makes the problem go away. So we'll be back after the cut with one or the other, but that's, I'm pretty sure gonna be the solution. All right, so that didn't solve my problem. Um, it's got, I've got a new resistor in. Something is not good here on this joint, but I don't know what. Um, I don't know if it's... Um, there's, there's definitely... I wonder if there's some other connection that might be going on underneath the board. So I might have to lift this board long enough to take a peek and see if I can see what's going on under there. So replacing the resistor has not resolved the problem. Now, another, I guess, remote possibility might be that... Um, this capacitor is what's wrong, but it's not making a noise touching it, really. Oh. Well, there sure are a lot of noisy places in this thing. That, that's a ground connection, I'll bet you, but it seems like it's not great as well. Wow. The board itself is making all kinds of noises. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I'm gonna have to kind of poke around a little bit, see if I can understand what's going on there. So we'll continue troubleshooting. Well, I may have been a little premature in my guess that it didn't work. I think it may have actually worked. I am not seeing, obviously you're getting hum because my pickups are close to the amp, but um, I am not able to reproduce the problem now that I've replaced that resistor and that resistor itself doesn't make noise. So maybe I was being a little bit over worried about some level of microphonics on this board. Listen, those are still there, but pushing on the resistor isn't making cracking noises and popping and squealing. So there may just be there's some general microphonics around there that's maybe even to be expected. I don't know, I wouldn't mind Somebody tell me what they think about that. But listen to this.
reverb sounds great. I'm not hearing the high-pitched squealing or feedback. <laughs> So that is, uh, I think that's, that was the fix. That resistor right here, this one had gone microphonic and was causing all kinds of problems and replacing it solved the problem. So I just, I was being a little over, over nervous the fact that I could get a lot of other noises there. Um, but the, it sounds like to me the reverb has recovered its uh, sound without needing any specific uh, volume or lowering of the level to keep it from feeding back or squealing. It's nice, I'm at max, max reverb almost max volume and fairly high on the main volume and no no squealing no nothing so i think we fixed the problem all right guys there you have it